Hi there everybody, thanks for watching. So my name's Damon, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my personal preferences and like what I like to see when I walk into a room. You know, I'm a musician and I and I love being um, creative, and it, it, it goes outside of just music, you know, it can go into things like clothing and, and rooms and, and, you know, paintings and all of that stuff. And interior design is something that I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a professional at, but it's something that when I walk into a room, I can like look at things and I can like see the space and the spatial reasoning or what's going on. And I can feel like what the room is trying to say and what it's not trying to say. And also the functionality of it, uh, of just like, um, it's just like an intuition I have. And I think it's really good. So I'm going to try to share it with you and, and you know, you can tell me what you think in the comments. So I'm going to start off by the three things that I personally like and the three things I notice the most. Um, in any room I walk into. So the first thing is going to be uh, minimalism is something that I've done for a long time. I mean, I've lived in a van for over a year, so I know what's functional and what's not and what's more for stylistic and artistic purposes. But anyway, so minimalism to me is like how much is, is in here that's actually useful and how much are things that um, it's not too busy and like in my eyes, where are my eyes going when I first walk into a room? Is it going into something that's not important or is it going into something that's cool? What am I looking at first? And um, you know, what's the function of the room? So in, in a grand scheme of things, to me, function is the most important thing. Like even if a chair looks really cool and it's like weird and whatnot, if it's not comfortable, it's crap. And that's just how I've always seen it. Like I'd rather have a really comfy chair look cool than a really cool chair not be comfy. So minimalism is about having the right um, functional items in there that are obviously stylistically important but also like if I if I look at something and it just it just screams too busy or like something that's not realistic that somebody would actually use on like a regular basis you know if you're looking at a bookcase and it's just like tons of books all over the place and they're not really organized I don't even like bookcases personally I read everything on my phone and I love it um, but again that's a personal preference um, so if you don't know much about minimalism, I think it's a great way to look at. I'm not really into minimalism as in there's like an artistic version of minimalism that's like some weird fluid stuff. Um, I'm not really talking about that at the moment. Um, the second thing I really like about interior design is something that I call biomimicry. Um, it's pretty much design based off nature. And I've always found that things that remind me of nature inside of a room make me feel more um, just kind of give me a better um, better spirit and just a better happier feeling um, than rooms that feel very processed and very like unnatural rooms even if that's what they're going for I, I just don't really like it for example when I think of biomimicry I think of using materials inside of a room that have a lot of sunlight that maybe have lots of plants that use stones that are maybe like, you know, granite countertops and wood that is obviously different colors and different textures to the wood. Um, you can even have things like fireplaces that are involved, you know, involved. Um, you could have, you know, showers that maybe have more of a natural waterfall like feature to them than, you know, the typical standard wa um, showers. Same with faucets too. Using clay and sand to uh, incorporate and hold things up or sculpture. I mean, pretty much ceramics are um, pretty much cooked clay, which is why that they kind of still feel very natural too. So biomimicry is kind of involving all of those things into a room that still keep a lot of um, the na natural um, feel of, of the outside world. Um, and again, it's not none of those things are really that expensive. You can you, you can usually make half of those things at home. Putting some plants in your, in your home is not incredibly expensive. On a foundational level, I really like um, biomimicry in, in, involved into you know my lifestyle, um, and I think it's cheap and easy. And I also like some things that, especially wood. Wood can be overdone in a lot of, especially van life people. Like people, they'll like put wood up all over the place. And it's just it's like one color of wood, and it's just so bad. It, they'll call it rustic, but it's just like, it's just one, just one. It looks like they live in like a wooden crate or something. And I'm like, don't do that. So it's good to just mix it up a lot and have a lot of different types of textures and and green and sunlight mixed into your home. And the third thing I want to talk about that I really like in, in interior design is uh, a masculine and feminine feel to something. Now I know this is not really like a thing. 
but to me, I've always found that uh, in, in a room, there's usually a couple that will live in, in, a, in a room, and I like the balance of men and women have very different styles and what they like. But to me, as, as, a, as a guy, I find that the masculine type of things, things that I gravitate towards are things that have a simple shape, that have colder colors to or cooler colors to them, and maybe more simple colors to them, where it's not very varied. It's it's not varied, and textures that maybe have a lot more of a rougher distortion um, type of texture to them. Things that maybe like a stone, where they have more of a abrasive texture to it, and uh, maybe darker colors too. You know, think of like a gothic type of feel to that. Th those are things that I gravitate towards because it makes me feel very um, solid and, and masculine. In feminine things, I see a lot more of um, uh, shapes that are maybe a little bit more fancier and maybe more elegant types of shapes. Think of like a chandelier where they have lots of um, shapes and, and it really pops. And you'll have colors that maybe are a little bit brighter and warmer too, like brighter pink and baby blue. Those colors can kind of be show a little more signs of femininity. And then textures that much more are like, you know, pearly, glossy, um, smooth, and don't really, um, don't really have a rough feel to it. It's much more of a softer, even almost like a fur, you know, like um, furry um, looking. Um, those, I, I, I feel that women gravitate towards more. And I think that blending those types of things together really create a nice artistic um, blend. So... When I think of one of my favorite eras, one of my favorite types of style is actually the Victorian era style. They'll have a lot more of this darker, kind of bold um, style to the to the you know their beds, their couches, chairs, you name it, their walls. But they'll have a very fancy and elegant um, either pattern on them, or they'll have carvings in the in the in the wood or the metal. Me, in my my opinion, I've always liked the 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 Gothic and Victorian and the Baroque style of things. Today and age, we really just lost a lot of stuff like that because we don't focus on um, quality over quantity anymore. You know, that's how we live. We live in a quantity over quality lifestyle now. I mean, everything from the what, what we eat to, you know, the clothes we wear to, to things we buy, it's just, it's just easier and cheaper. So people don't necessarily put as much work into things like that. But if you adopt more of a minimalist attitude, then you can actually splurge a little bit more on quality instead of quantity. So all of those things can work together. I do think the Victorian age seems a little bit too, um, I just don't want to live in that age again. But I think that if you incorporated the, the some of the, those Victorian styles with more of a, a natural, more of an upbeat, naturesque vibe, that to me would be something that I would get into a lot. Um, but also keeping it simple, you know, I mean, it's, it's not something that you need to go all out on. It's not something that needs to be expensive. Um, right now I kind of live more in the functional world, so I definitely don't have any type of, um, prettiness in my life. I'm like clockwork over here. So if you're an interior designer, if you just like someone that likes to, to listen to someone talk about interior design, I hope that that was helpful. Um, these are things that I really like on a personal level. Obviously, it's artistic and subjective, but um, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought, and please like and subscribe. So thank you for watching. Take care.